Hey, what's happening guys? Today I'm going to do a simple demonstration for you that I hope will explain to you uh, the, what multimeter counts refer to and how they behave. Really simply, instruments that have display count specified are usually multimeters, okay? And what they do is they have different ranges that they can read. Like for instance, this is a manual ranging meter. I actually have to set the range. These are three are auto ranging. They'll pick their own range. Now you will see meters advertised with their counts. This is 2,000 counts. This is 6,000 counts. This is 9,999 counts. And this is 40,000 counts. So what does it mean? Well basically it is the number or the, uh, the, the range that it can read up to before it has to switch to the next range. So for example, if this meter for instance is 2,000 counts, that means it can read up to, in this range, 2 volts or 1.999 volts before it switches to the next range. Uh, a meter that has 50,000 counts, for instance, can read 49.999 volts, but when you try to go to 50 volts, it will read 0 0.50.00, 0 .00. so you're losing a digit of resolution. So that's all, that's, that's all it is. It is uh, a way to show resolution. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to turn all our meters on into voltage mode. Okay. And then I'm going to turn on the power supply. And right now we're down at zero. So we're going to put it for one volt. This king's a little touchy. So, okay. We're set here on two volts. So you see we are getting three digits of precision there, three digits of precision, three digits of precision, and in that case four because that one holds a lot more. That's my new meter. We'll be talking about that later. But now keep an eye on this one. This is the 2000 count meter as we pass two volts. Now we're right at two volts. Now it says over range. I have to switch it. But you see we've lost the digit. It cannot display that digit. Now our next one in line is this one at 6,000 counts. So as we pass 5.999 volts, it's going to switch. There we are at 5.999 and she switches. She switched a little early, but you get the idea. See, 06.00, we've lost the digit of precision. Here we're still at three digits, here we're still at four digits. Now this one, 9999, is the next one, and it should switch when we get to 10 volts. Boom, 10 volts, we lose a digit. This one's still, this one's showing three, and I, I'm not gonna go up as far as that would go, but it will go pretty far. I, I don't even know. Uh, let's me switch this one to 200 volts. I'm gonna take this as far as it'll go. Yeah, see, 26, 20, two digit, two digit, three digit, and this one is actually dropped down to one digit. So you can see how the counts of a multimeter simply give you the resolution. Now another thing that you're often going to see in reference mainly to uh, bench type meters, although not this one, this is about as uh, cheap as bench meters you can get, is digit count. You'll see meters that say four and a half digits, five and a half digits. Well, what, what does that mean? Well let's start at something simple, four and a half digits. The four represents the full number of digits that it can display from zero to nine on the display. Now the half 
0.5 is the first digit it can dis display, and the 0.5 means it can display a 1 or a 0. So if you put that all together, 4.5 digits means it can show from 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 to 199999 because the first digit can be a, a 0 or a 1. And the last four preceding digits can be 0 to 9. Now, there are also what are called three quarter meters. Now, that gets a little bit interesting, but this is a, this is a three quarter meter here. It is a four and three quarter digit meter. So a three quarter digit means it can generally read from zero to three, and in some cases zero to five, but just stick with zero to three. So the highest number that it can show here will be a three. Can you go back and forth between them? Yeah, kind of. Uh, four and a half digit meter is gonna be about 20,000 counts. Uh, four and three quarters is gonna be about 40,000 counts, a five and a half digit is going to be 200,000 counts, and a really nice precision bench meter, six and a half digit, is going to be like a two million count. So, I hope that helped to clear up some of the questions I've gotten about multimeter counts and how they relate to digits and, you know, what they can show you on the screen. If you enjoyed, give me a thumbs up, feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons, big thanks to Banggood. Who sent me that meter but like I said we'll be doing a review of that later that's it I'm out peace